eating at the Chef's de France. Well, this is exciting. I haven't eaten here in a while. came here earlier like they were saying they did the prefix menu which was a lot of food they said but very good <laughs> all right there we go up and then back here we have some cocktails and house special <laughs> I think we are gonna do this um, prefix menu. This sounds really good. It's a good value for $39. Um, it looks like it is dining plan um, accepted as well. I think I'm gonna want the French onion soup. That sounds good. And then I'm not sure yet for my entree. And then the dessert, you get a dessert of your choice. So you get to pick anything on the menu. And we have a window view over here. So we're gonna get to see illuminations in a bit. Courses here. I got the French onion soup, the lobster bisque. Very nice. That's your favorite too, isn't it? Chicken. So you got the beef bourguignon. Very nice. All right, we're deciding on dessert. We all got the prefix, so we each get a dessert. Looks like on this side, it's just some coffee. Mm, I may do creme brulee, but I don't know. The sauce sounds pretty good. The meringue basket. Mm. Wow, it looks good. I got the chocolate cake and it was like chocolate layers, chocolate mint chocolate ice cream. Oh, creme brulee. <laughs> that looks good. You had the apple tart. Very good. Okay. Mine's like chocolate overload. <laughs> it really is. I always wanted to get a picture of this when there was no one else around. Look at this. <laughs> so we just ate at Le Chef's de France. 
It was amazing. We really enjoyed our meal. That prefix is a great value. And like all the portions, the portion size was huge. And yeah, very good. I had that chocolate cake thing for dessert. Oh my gosh, it was so, so good. All right, so now we are heading out of the park. I'm gonna take the monorail back to the Grand. We're gonna hang out. We said we're gonna get a bottle of wine, I think, and go sit on the balcony, or we might go to one of the lounges there. So it's gonna be a magical evening. <laughs> There's seriously nobody here right now. Look at all the food and wine booths are all closed up. Yeah, they have a really great option. Like I was saying that prefix menu, that was a great value. We really liked doing that. Now we are walking through. It's just so cool when you have a late night diners are like Epcot's now closed. So it's cool then leaving the park and being amongst the only other people in here are people like us that had a late night reservation at one of the restaurants. So it's really cool. Cool perspective. Oh my gosh, I love it. Yay for Epcot. Oh, you can hear that Epcot music up here. Epcot has the best soundtrack of any park. Seriously, no one else here other than us. This is amazing. This fountain, I hope they always keep this here. Cause look at that. Fountain of Nations. Here comes our mom. spotted some fireworks. We think it's Hollow Wishes because that's going on right now. We just checked the times. Kind of see through the trees. back home. Ah. My coffee. Here we go. How do you pronounce it? Meisner's? Minsner's? Meisner's Lounge? Alright, my first time here. Let's go. Oh, look at this. We have a view of Lagoon. You're old fashioned. This is what you've been talking about here from the Meister's Lounge. And then I got this is called the Grand Cocktail. And what did it have in it? It was cranberry juice, vodka, that raspberry liqueur. That was it. Look at the Grand Floridian stir. That is just so cute. Definitely keeping that for my scrapbook that's <laughs> going in. <laughs> there we go. And we get crunchies as he called it. <laughs> Good morning from Disney's Grand Floridian Resort. This is what we have to wake up to this morning.
We're on our way to Gasparilla's. We have Disney ducks this morning. Hi. Yeah, I know. Look how cute. 